Hi, my Gucci Sparkies. Get a she's delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Abracadabra, Bibil. How are you doing, Aquarius? Today we are... <laughs> Cards are flying out the moon, Bibil. Okay. Hmm. I think that's a positive sign. I think someone's dreaming about you under the moon. I think someone's reminiscing. I think somebody's missing you, Bibil. I'll say your mommy still <clears throat> sounds like a broken record because still losing my voice. Nobody knows why. All right. <laughs> uh, I speak, you know, too much truth. Okay, so I bet it is the evil eye of the douche flute. You know what I'm saying? Okay, today we're doing you versus them. Your person, I can already tell your person is missing you. They have a lot of regrets, but let's see who they are. Um, we're doing you versus them, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, snake in the grass. Okay, this person is just trying to come out. This person is like really impatient. They have a lot to say to you. Um, they regret uh, all the fighting that happened, and they regret being uh, defensive when they should have been fixing the problem. All right. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I still love you, Aquarius, but Bill is what your person is saying. They regret being defensive. Okay, let's let's see. This is your September energy, and we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your boot belt. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Someone's holding a major torch. Somebody is missing you. Someone is up all night thinking about you. I'm telling you. Someone's burning the midnight oil thinking about you. They can't sleep. Maybe they have insomnia issues. You know, let me know in the comments. Oh, King of Wands. King, Queen, anyone between. They're just like, the lights are on, Bibo. The lights are on at night because they can't sleep. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. This is how they see you. They know they cause you heartbreak. So they know. They know. They feel the guilt. They feel... The regret, they're missing you. Mur, 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 mur. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Uh, you know, pride comes before a fall. I think this person was very prideful and egotistical at the time that uh, they hurt you, and they have regrets about that. So let's see. Please show me angels of love what happened in the past to make the situation so. Also, Aquarius, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you, my boo-boo. I see you, and I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm, you know you're my favorite. Aquarius, you are my favorite. I'm a Scorpio sun and rising, but I'm always friends with Aquarius says, dating the Aquarius says, I don't know what it is. I mean, I do know, because <laughs> you're scrumptious. Uh, oh, also Aquarius, I'll be doing a live on Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. It might change to the, uh, midday, so noon Pacific time on Sunday the 10th, but I will let you know in the community tab or check out my Instagram, and I'll let you know in the next video as well. But yeah, come to my live, Bibi. We're back with the lives. We're going to be doing New Age gossip, general readings, and I will be taking your PayPal questions. Uh, and also, Aquarius, if you are interested in a personal uh, reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Oh, oh, oh. I'm out of breath. I don't know. What's going on with me? Uh, this, I mean, we all know what's going on. We all know. We know. We know. We know. She knows. All right, the sun. This person was like overpoweringly, like all this torch, like all this torchlight. They're just like on fire for you. Maybe they're like a firefighter as well. They could deal with fire in some kind of a way in their life. But, you know, like they're just like lit up. Like they saw you. If it was a bimbo, himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, they like saw you and they're like lit up. Like, like a little firefly. Like, boop, boop, boop. Um, they couldn't help it. You were just everything they wanted, but it was risky business between you, the tower. So, you know, there's something about this love. So this is the issue here. They know they broke your heart and they miss you. They know they did you dirty in some way, but there's something taboo or difficult about this connection. So th this love came with some kind of a difficulty. Um, let's see what it was. They're like super in love with you. Something was standing in the way, and it was kind of tragic, you know? It was the downfall of this connection at the time. Um, this is someone who could have, like, literally canceled the wedding. The fool. Tell me why. Someone canceled a wedding because they got cold feet. Um, Sorry, we're, we're racing into the future because we're, we're doing, if it's, like, short, um, sorry. <laughs> See, I don't know what it is, like, Mommy's like, I'm just like, my mind is racing today. What is going on? What is going on with the planets today? 
Listen, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, it's someone who got cold feet and they promised you marriage in the sense that they promised you a lot of stability. So it was someone who was like, they had marriage on their mind and you know, they were not lying or they told you, you know, I'm dating to marry. I'm dating to find a bibu for your life. You know, I am looking for, for my soulmate. But then they got cold feet, but it, it's because there's something like standing in the way. It could be distance. It could be that this person lives in a different location to you. But also, you know, there's like the burden of a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles next to the Fool. So the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles is interesting because you're you're in the Fool energy Aquarius, baby. Uranus, you're in Uranus. <laughs> every time. I have to say it every time. It is though, isn't it? I mean, shh. tell me in the comments how you pronounce it. YouTube, don't cancel me. Um, it was the burden of the new beginning. So, you know, they met you, they wanted something serious, but someone was standing in the way and they felt like they had to leave you. And it could be like, it could be the opinions of other people, you know? It could be someone who had already had like one big relationship and then like all of a sudden they decided that they cannot be tied down with a commitment because they, they have commitments elsewhere in the world. Um, I'm not justifying them, but it's just, you know, this was what this person was thinking. This also could be some, somebody who they, if it was more, a more established connection, you know. <sighs> this is somebody who, like, called off a wedding, never showed up, like, no show. Um, again, because they felt like your, wor your, your worlds were far apart, too far apart. There was something about their world was different to yours. Uh, and they needed to go out there into their own world and follow their own path. Could be somebody who chose a work opportunity, uh, somebody who chose their career over uh, a marriage or commitment or partnership in some kind of a way. Could be someone who is dealing with their own sexuality as well. So, you know, I know this is a sensitive topic, but it's just coming up. So it could be someone in denial about their sexuality. Um, so they could, you know, they wanted to live they wanted to present a different lifestyle to the world to how they were they felt about you um if it was a more ooh, ew david like why would they do that but it is like that's what's coming up so also if it was a more established connection so if you're already married to them or in a long-term partnership this is somebody who worshipped you like worshipped, 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 and then the tower came crashing down because all of a sudden this person had either a midlife crisis or they got an opportunity elsewhere. But this is not about another person, this is about job, you know? They moved, like literally moved, and then like the com communication became bad or dissipated because they moved. Someone out there in the world doing their thing. Um, this is like a freaky reading. It could also be somebody like who literally one day you were just vibing for 20 years and like they woke up one day and they were like, yeah, you know, I'm exploring my sexuality or they were exploring some other belief about themselves and it could have been someone who was like, you know what, I decided that I'm going to become a monk or a nun and I'm going, I'm get thee to the monastery, like literally joined a monastery or something. Like no jokes, like spicy. Whew. Whoa, Aquarius, this is a strong reading. But this is somebody who, who wants to see you again and they, they, they want to talk, they want to repair things. They made a mistake. Whatever is it the story is for you, they made a mistake. Uh, expect communication coming in quickly. This is the Eight of Wands. This is the next eight hours, eight days, or eight weeks. Someone is getting in touch with you to say, I'm sorry. You are the one for me. I can't believe I did this to you. And then the magician, they are materializing, they are manifesting themselves back into your life, whether you like it or not. But you need to decide, Aquarius, whether this peasant is worthy of you. Look, six of wands at the bottom of the deck, they're trying to win this. They're gonna try, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna try. It's up to you what you wanna do with that, if you want them or not, but they're gonna try because they cannot stand to be apart from you. They're, they, all they think about is you, Bill. They can't sleep. The lights are on. I see the lights are on. I don't know why, the, you know, that's relevant. The, the lights are on, baby. 
All right, my babies, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your stereo carriers. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button. Uh, and of course, like this video, leave me a little comment. I would be ever so grateful because, you know, it tells the aliens you like my content and, you know, helps spread the word. And of course, the AI overlords at YouTube will know that I'm doing a good job and I'm uh, so, so grateful. Uh, what else? Yeah, personal readings, all the information is down below. Grace, okay, I am so like, sweet, like I feel like I'm receiving so many messages tonight. It's just like insane. So I don't know. Uh, all right, my boo boo. I'll see you next time. Stay sprightly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs>